hey guys i'm back with another video if you're new here to my channel welcome and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back baby so i know i've been missing for a hot minute but i'm back i'm back and i'm back with something good so if you guys want to see how i achieved this nice soft dewy natural look and we're going to be having a little chit chat a little talk session a little heartfelt moment so you guys definitely keep on watching and make sure to like comment and subscribe no bars <laughs> First of all, I know. Let me just put that out there before y'all attack me. I know. I have been MIA for over a month. Okay. I know, but I have reasons and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all. So I went MIA because I had a whole child. <laughs> JK, JK, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say that, but I've been MIA for many reasons and this is what this video is for. I'm going to do a sit down and chit chat with you guys. I have nowhere going but I just feel like this video is needed. So I wrote, I wrote down some points that I want to speak about in this book because my brain, you see this brain, it goes and it comes and it works when it feels like working. So my, the first thing on my list is why i've been m.i.a that's the first thing so first of all depression demotivation just a lot of stuff that leads up to me stop posting or making youtube videos so i feel like i'm putting in the work i'm making the videos i feel like they're relatable i'm taking many times to edit and i just don't feel like i'm getting the views or i'm getting the interaction or I don't feel like my video is being seen. But I was talking to myself today and I was thinking in my head. I forgot that I should be doing my makeup. Oh my god. So I was talking to myself. I was talking to myself today. And <clears throat> guys, I'm sick. I am so sick right now. Please, please bear with me, guys. Please, I'm begging you. But I'm home and I have time. So I'm going to stop complaining and stop finding excuses. And I'm going to do this video and get it out of the way. Okay, so. I was talking to myself today. And I was saying, these big content creators, right? They didn't start at 10k views in 5 minutes they started from nothing and they worked their way up to something so i am going to stop making views and interaction be something that is stopping me from doing what i actually want to do because i want to do content creating a lot I want to be that person where people look forward to watching my videos. If I miss it for too long, you guys notice. So I want to be relatable. So that's one thing on my list. And also, since of last year and into this, the new year, content creating has been the in thing now. Everybody wants to do content creating. And I love to see that because you guys are doing something that you like showing your personality to other people and i love that for you guys and one of our downfall or something that makes us not pick up the camera and film a video is aesthetics we all want the aesthetic we want that clean camera quality we want everything to be perfect before we start that was me i wanted everything to be perfect before i started youtube but started with my iphone 6 and i just did my thing literally so other content creators out there or if you're looking to start but you feel like me you just feel like you don't have proper lighting you don't have a good camera and you just feel like it's gonna be a waste let me tell you to start with what you have okay i started with an iphone 6 i now have an iphone 11 
I started with a small ring light on my itchy pama car pama window still. I now have a 18 inch ring light. I started with a little tripod when my look the foot broke, my tape up, catch it up on my window, and I did my video. Nobody knew that my phone was on my window. So yes, for those factors stopping us from doing what we actually want, let's stop. Let's stop this year and let's stop right now. We are gonna do what we wanna do. And we're gonna reach those goals, okay? So that's why I have been MIA. I have been going through a lot. And yeah, I just feel like I'm going to stop now. And I'm going to stop finding excuses. And stop finding reasons to not do what I really want to do. So yeah, that's the first thing on my list. The number two on my list is to normalize cutting people off. No. When I say this, I'm not talking about um, you just getting up and cutting off people that are there for you. Cutting off your real true friends or people that are in your corner, have your back and give you great advice and stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that you are filling your energy with. People that you are bringing into your space. People that affects you when they do something to you. That's what I'm talking about. Normalize cutting them out of your life. You can't be the only one um, pouring into that friendship. Or pouring into that relationship. You just cannot. Like... This is 50-50. This is not, oh, um, I'll put 80% of the energy or effort in this friendship and you can put the 20. No, ma'am. We're going 50-50. If you can't meet me, then is the friendship even worth it? Like, we keep draining our energy over people that really don't care. They don't care if they lose us. They don't care if they have us. They don't care. It doesn't matter to them. They don't check up on us. Let's stop. For 2022, let's... No, you're me come back in a time. For 2024, let's stop doing that. Okay? Let's stop pouring into a broken cup. When now, it now go full up, it broke, it now go full up. It have multiple cracks. That cup will never be filled. Never. So let's stop that. Third on my list, let's normalize letting go of someone you're in a relationship with nowadays toxicity is the new romance let's let, let, let's stop that okay being toxic it was cute it, not not anymore please please you don't have to go through hell and back with a person to prove that you love them that, that's not love that's proving that you're one of god's strongest soldiers Let's stop doing that. When you love a person, it is so freaking hard to just throw in the button and give up on that person. It's hard, but we need to start protecting our peace and we need to start letting go of certain stuff. Certain things that are not helping us in no shape or form. Like, I can't show on paper how you're helping me or how your presence is better in me so what is the what, what what's what's the reason what what are we doing let's learn how to detach let's learn how to know our worth let's learn how to move on and let's learn how to want better for ourselves you need to protect your mental health because if you don't do it who is going to do it you need to protect your peace and you need to protect your sanity. You need to protect how you value yourself. Like, definitely, babes. Like, you deserve the world, okay? Don't let anyone make you feel like, oh, you're not worth it. Or this and that and that and that. You deserve everything. 
good in life period the next thing on my list is let's normalize that not everyone has to be your friend please <laughs> let's normalize that i have a friend right and she has a friend but every time the friend sees me it's like she has a problem with me i don't know why i've never done this girl anything maybe she's intimidating that i'm friends with her friend but there is a scene where or i don't know if it's a scene or i may say i don't know but you are my friend's friend but you're not my friend you're not my friend you're friends with my friend and that's fine that's totally fine i don't want to ever come between you guys friendship nothing nothing at all just be her friend and i'll be her friend but we don't have to be friends and there doesn't have to be any beef between us it's just normal we don't have to be friends right i'm not really i won't say i'm not a friendly person because once you talk to me baby it's a vibe once you talk to me i'm a vibe but i don't want everyone to be my friend i don't want everyone to be in my personal space i don't want everyone to know certain personal things about me and that's fine that's totally fine not everybody has to know your ins and outs or your daily life no and some people really don't get that the next thing on my list is normalizing your worth I don't know why sometimes when you point out your worth to people, they're like, oh, oh you think you be, you think you're better than people? Or you tell some man when you want in a man, or a guy tries talking to you and you shut him down. Oh, girl, you think you're better than a man? You think this and that, a uh, whole heap of front out the road, you think this and that, uh, you think that and this. And I'm like, I, I didn't i did not say that i just turned you down baby like <laughs> we don't have to do all of this <laughs> when did i tell you that i'm better than you boo i'm just telling you what i'm worth i'm just valuing myself and i'm telling you what i'm looking for in a man and based off of what i observe you don't meet those criterias and that is fine normalize having standards normalize setting something for yourself normalize that not every man can get you baby let them let them dream let them dream about the holes in your drawers but yeah y'all definitely get the gist of what i'm saying protect your peace babes protect you at all cost let's be there for you because the world that we live in sometimes they don't even know who really have your back And that's coming from trauma and hurt and trust issues because people will go right at the cross where Jesus was pinned. Look you in your eye and tell you, say, I'm here for you. And when you check, when you check his stats, it just, nah, I don't know. Where are you, baby? <laughs> Bro, it's just not adding up. I know everybody forget your energy. So, guys, I did one of my eye off camera. I'm using the Juvia's Place bronze palette. So, it's the two side, the two tone. And it's in the shade dark. I also use a tart palette and I use the deep brown right down here. Let me see if it has a name. It's called Leader at the bottom. So that's what I use to achieve this eye look. So the next thing on my list is normalize being positive and manifest the life that you want. I've heard so many people say the words that come out of our mouth, they are very strong what you speak over your life is very strong okay you guys need to start believing that and need to start realizing that as well so it's over top over self oh god my broke 
my bro come up her rise oh jesus i'm not gonna ever get this in my life i'm not gonna get that jesus my salty me across this girl stop okay stop saying those stuff they are very strong and they're very powerful and they will stick with you start manifesting start speaking positive start being a positive person okay start believing start having faith start asking god for what you want start talking to him believe in yourself pan masika album the song what him do with leela and chronicler chronicler part where say oh you have to believe in everything but not yourself like how do you not believe in yourself you believe and god believe i don't only believe you need in your life if nobody else not believe in you fine believe in yourself boo believe that you will get it done and so you will so start manifesting the life that you want okay start setting realistic goals like i know when you set hard goals it makes you go harder but be mindful of the time frame you're putting on your goals so if you're 19 and you're saying that you want to buy a car by your 20 it is possible it is i'm not gonna say it's impossible because life can change in a blink it is possible but set goals where you won't feel disappointed in yourself if you don't achieve it the time frame that you want to now i'm going to bronze from a taller time on no seminar like contour i'm using a darker foundation than my shade to bronze next topic i want to touch i want to talk about be nice to people be nice to people guys like why you gonna be mean like what you achieve out of being the mean girl or the mean guy or the bully what do you achieve seriously i was on tiktok the other day scrolling because that's what we do on tiktok scroll and laugh tiktok is such a funny place i love tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok please go and follow i'm gonna drop my name go follow me babes thank you so yeah i was on tiktok and i saw this girl's video on the video it says she's an upcoming makeup artist and she just want you guys to stop um like the video and i know that so just press the like button and go about in the business if you're not left a constructive comment just shut up <laughs> it's it's so easy to shut the hell up you know how easy it is to shut up this person with no words coming out of your mouth so easy but anyways i went in the comment section because i just know i just know people so i'm going in the comment section come on now upcoming makeup artists you're not expect them work to be perfect them right now gonna be perfect right and i went in the comment section and it was awful the comment section was just so awful people are say i prank this i do this people are say take down this people are say this not ready yet people are say what the what the f people are say girl come out of the makeup industry and may i say the girl live her. People don't normally call this phone, you know. I don't know why so many people calling me. But yeah, what was I saying? The comment section on the girl's video was so mean. It was so mean. I was like, oh my god. And then she put up our next video today saying um she didn't expect that video to go viral. The no, she said the video blew up and um, she was saying how she feels about the negative comments and even though she had on the tricks the trickster voice effect on tiktok you could still hear the hurt in her voice and brother if i could ball but i'm just ball i'm like she really sounds hurt like really hurt and i'm like it not take nothing out of way for be nice to people. Literally. I was watching the video. The second video she put up. And 
But that's how she made it. Come here and say like, yo, you can't hear the hurt in her voice. She sound like she didn't want to cry or she sound like she was crying before she started the video. And I'm like, yo. People nowadays are just so mean. And I know some people say, block, just block all the negativity, girl. Yes, yeah, so in the new video that she posted, some persons were in the comment section telling her to just block out the negativity. How do you block that out? Everybody's saying something bad in the comment section. Everybody. Social media is a place where you can never erase yourself. You can never delete. People are always screenshotting and screen recording. Social media. Fingerprint sticks. So be kind and you never know who you're talking bad about. Never. Okay, so I'm just going to put some gloss on this nude lippy. I love a nude lippy. <laughs> nude lips are my go-to. If you see me on the road and my makeup is done, just know I have a nude lip combo on. Just know that. And now I'm going to set my face before I do lips. So let me... I was just gonna say not too much because I'm not going anywhere, but I already drenched myself, so too late for that. I'm always telling about that trick, all right? I'm almost tired for ears. Pat that into your face before it dries down. Let me guys know, do you like it? Guys, my hair, it's so cute, right? It's giving, my hair is so cute. And the face is just facing. So this is it for my video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, I don't know. Why am I telling you to subscribe? Like, from a company video, you know say I like my vibes. You see say I like my vibes. You see say I like say relatable. I shouldn't have to tell you to hit the subscribe button, babes. What, what's going on? What are you doing? Just subscribe. Thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babies.